But first, that ad we want to tell you about, that old-fashioned, is it an old-fashioned bait-and-switch scam? Today's Palm Beach Post here. Someone paid for space to post this picture of a woman looking for a decent man to marry. It's what the ad doesn't say, though, that has an expert today warning everyone to ignore this woman. But now's Alana Quillen live for us in our newsroom to explain. Alana? Well, Shannon, I also have a copy of the paper. The ad goes on to ask for only sincere persons, men between ages 35 and 75, who wish to marry to respond. Now, it didn't take me long before we found a duplicate ad for a man seeking a woman, which ran in two local papers. Now, one tech expert told me anyone who answers looking for love might to get something else. Woman seeking man, a familiar line, but not necessarily friendly. Most scammers are looking for desperation. They hide behind simple, bold statements. As soon as you see something like this, there's just red flags going off left and right. Alan Crowitz, WPTV's internet security expert with InfoStream, told me this ad in today's Palm Beach Post is most likely a scam. And yet, you know, we know people fall for this kind of stuff all the time. The ad, featuring a picture of an attractive woman, asked for respondents to email Sophia Farkash. We found no one with that name in Florida, but we did discover that's the name of the wife of former Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. At my request, Croats looked for and found this ad for a man seeking a wife posted in two local papers. The wording, only sincere persons, exactly the same. If something works, they replicate it and they use it over and over again. This ad had a Miami area code phone number. I called it. <laughs> And a man with a thick accent answered, calling himself Nicole Davis. That matches the email on the ad. Probably the same person um, or, or same organization or same group of people. Crowitz pointed out the ads ask for a picture and full biography necessary for ripping off someone's identity. The more you know about your target, the more you can take advantage of them. You know, photo and a biography, I could create a fake driver's license, I could create a fake passport. I could apply for untold number of financial things. In this case, look for love somewhere else. They're fishing. They have a line in the water right now and they're getting bites and now they're going to go through those and find out which ones are legit, which ones are good targets. Now I called the Palm Beach Post about this ad. They told me this is the first time in a long time that they've run an ad like this. I understand if they do get another ad like this again, the paper will debate whether to run it. Shannon, the paper would not reveal details on who placed the ads due to its confidentiality policy. Back.